Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuan. Today, we are going to draw the body of Allosaurus. Allosaurus was a relatively large carnivorous dinosaur with a body length up to 9 to 10 meters, and the smaller ones could reach about 7 meters. Its body had the characteristics of typical carnivorous dinosaurs. In the movies or cartoons of the last century, the vast majority of dinosaur images came from Allosaurus. For example, it had a large head and a not very long neck. Although its neck was relatively not too long, it was still a little longer than that of a T-Rex. It had relatively short front hands with three fingers, relatively long hind legs and a long tail. When we draw it, we should pay attention to the proportions of the various parts of its body. For example, its tail accounted for half of its body length, and its back to tail was level with the ground. The length of its head was basically the same as that of its neck. Its head was as wide as the pelvis, and the length of the head was about the same as that of the forelimbs. Pay attention to these proportions when drawing. Now, let's draw its body. First, we determine the proportions of the various parts of Allosaurus in the picture. Its head was probably this long. We may be constantly adjusting the size while later drawing. We only set the approximate locations at the beginning. Its neck was longer than the head, but we are going to draw Allosaurus facing this direction, so its neck will look shorter. And we set it here. Its shoulders were about this wide. Then its front hands, its back, its legs, and its tail at the rear. Let's start from drawing its head. We've roughly determined the length of the head. We picture Allosaurus in our mind and determine its height. Its lower jaw might open like this. Let's start with its head. We draw its nose first. We are going to draw Allosaurus gemassini, which had a relatively square head with a relatively flat top unlike that of Allosaurus frigilis. Here located its eye, and here was its temporal fenestra. We first draw its eye, which was not big, and we draw it rounder. Then the pupil, Draw a keratinous bump above its eyes. In front of the eyes were Allosaurus signature triangular lacrimal horns. One on each side. In front of the lacrimal horns were some small horizontal but long bulges which extended all the way down to the edge of the maxilla and premaxilla. Here were its nostrils, the soft area of the nose, and the actual opening of the nostrils was probably here. Then downward, we draw its mouth. And these were its jugal bones. We can draw some muscles above the corners of the mouth. Then we draw its teeth.
and the muscles in the mouth. Then we draw its lower jaw, which was narrower in Allosaurus. The teeth of the lower jaw and its tongue. Draw some bumps on the edges of the gums, resembling a crocodile. Here were its ears. Next, we draw its neck. throat, T muscles on the side of the neck, and its entire shoulders. When it lifted its head, there might be some wrinkles between its neck and back. Its back was fully arched. Its pelvis Its thighs and its knees. A portion of the skin of the thigh was attached to the trunk. And backward were its calf. its ankle, the instep of its foot, and its toes. Its toenails might not be very sharp due to wear and tear caused by long walks. Another small finger was blocked. Next, we draw its forelimbs. And the muscles on its shoulders, then the upper arm. The forearm. the claws, and the other hand, the palms of the two hands faced each other. 
The first finger was short and thick with a larger claw. The second finger the longest and the third finger the smallest and could be drawn more curved because the third finger had the most joints. And then its round belly and pubis. Next, we draw the other leg. The thigh was blocked by the trunk, so we mainly draw the calf. Three functional toes and the large pads under the toes. There was a tiny first toe here, and the claw of the first toe can be drawn a bit sharper. We can draw some large scales on the back of this toe as well as the instep of its feet. Now, let's draw its tail. Then on the side of the tail, we draw the boundary between the upper and lower muscles. In the end, we draw some wrinkles on the often bent parts of the body to give it a more textured look. and some spikes on its back. Good like this, we've finished drawing the body of Allosaurus.